are waking up in Sydney, checking out a great program called Sports Stars, which gets young kids into any sort of sport they want. If they want to be an athlete, whether it be tennis, cricket or table tennis, which we are featuring today because there is a test match coming up this weekend in Ride Australia versus China versus Korea versus Japan. Some of the best players in the world. We've got the Australian champion coming in and a 103-year-old table tennis player. But right now, Carl oh. and Lisa, this is the game for the person who has no mates. You are a very good player and championship player. You've got the moves. The oh, you're only yeah. saying that, Carl, because it's true. Good morning, everyone. We have a severe weather warning this morning for southwestern districts of Victoria with some rain and thunderstorms on the way, which could lead to flash flooding. Why don't we take to the skies and see what's coming down at your place? In fact, place. a fantastic program that started in Australia to get kids into all sorts of sports and to breed some champion athletes. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's table tennis or cricket or tennis, you can get some great coaches. I've got John Aldridge with me, one of Australia's best coaches. He's worked with the Australian team and uh, we're going to show you how you can get involved in it and tell you about the table tennis test match that's coming up. Put it up for me, John. Oh, there we go. Here we go. This is what it's all about, Carl and Lisa. Smack. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Yeah, good on you. Too bad. <laughs> fired that one in. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. <laughs> Hey, Carlos, a lot of the focus on the weather out in Western Sydney at the moment in the fire grounds. Temperatures today will hit 34 degrees, wind speeds of up to 30k per hour. Unfortunately, tomorrow is going to be worse with temps up to 35 degrees and wind speeds at 45 kilometres per hour. Then we'll see the temperatures start to cool from Thursday right through the weekend down in the mid to high 20s. Let's okay. take a look and see what's happening. This morning we are checking out the Sports Star program, Carl and Lisa, and this is all about getting kids involved in all sorts of sports like table tennis which I'm not doing too well at at the moment but if you happen to be an only child or you've got no mates then this is a fantastic new invention called the table tennis robot and it'll just serve your ball so you can play for as long as you like and if you keep playing you can play with the champions this weekend at Ride Community Sports Centre they are holding the test match of table tennis Australia, China, Japan, Korea and some of the best players in the world speaking of the best players in the world. We have Australia's oldest player joining us this morning and that is Dot. She's 103 years old. She plays table tennis three times a week. Play ping pong. Stay young. And we've got some exciting news about Dot coming up shortly. She is coming out of retirement. Good morning to you, Dot. Hearing's not great. Forehand is fantastic, Carl and Lisa. She's a very good player. Thank you very much for that. So look at you go. Fantastic. Beautiful forearm. You know? Well, Amazing. Forearm. Yeah. Yeah, the Sports and Star the Program, getting kids right around Australia and the world into all sorts of sports from a very young age. And we have got the Australian champion and Australia's oldest player, 103-year-old Dot, coming out of retirement. And that's up next. Fantastic Good morning to stuff. you, Carlos. You. Mate, we have got a severe weather warning this morning for southwestern areas of Victoria. Some heavy rain and thunderstorms on the way. Meantime, we're about to do our own workout. I'm about to play table tennis with an Aussie legend. But first, let's have a look and see what's happening with the weather Already, right around I've been the practicing here with kind of my childhood hero, Paul Pinkowich, who is 13 times Australian champion. <laughs> now, the, the Chinese are dominating table tennis at the moment. They've won all the gold medals in the Olympics over the last <laughs> couple of Olympic games. Now, when young kids want to grow up and be footy stars or cricket stars, I always wanted to be this guy. He's wow. an amazing player with an incredible record. <laughs> And oh, everything just keeps coming back. Oh, and it comes back with a bit of spin on it as well. <laughs> now, if you, want to see, if you want to see some of the best players in the Good world, fall. they are playing at Ride Community Sports Centre this weekend. There is a test match, Australia, China, Japan and Korea, including the number one player in the world and gold medalist from China. So it's all about getting the kids involved. And uh, this is a sport wow. that anyone can play. And, Not that well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm very honoured to be playing with the legend himself, Paul Pinkovich. Thank you very much. Wow. Man, you've got some energy. Yeah. 
It's supposed to be a leisurely sport. <laughs> he hasn't even broken into any kind it's of... It's something you play when you're having a couple of beers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not today. It's a surprise package, our Steve, isn't, isn't he? he? He can do a lot of things very well. Thank you, Georgie. And just a reminder that temperatures are going to increase tomorrow in the fire zone of Western Sydney. We'll see temperatures around 35 degrees and those wind speeds are going to be a problem also. Picking up to around about 45 kilometres per hour, so it's going to be another tough day for firefighters out there who are doing an amazing job. But it will cool down on Thursday and through the weekend to the mid to high 20s, which is some good news. All right, let's go to the maps and see what's happening right around the country. I have the honour of playing ping pong Whoa. with Dot, the oldest table tennis player in the world at 103. We did a feature story on Dot a few years ago on the Today go. Show when she was a lot younger. She was 100. But she was the world champion over 80s in... Oh! Wow, what a mean backhand in 1992. But she announced her retirement from international travel at 102 Ooh. years of age. The great news is she has just made the announcement. She's coming out of retirement. Yes. And she's going to play in the World Veterans Championships in Auckland in May next year when she'll be 103 and a half years old. If you want to stay young, play ping pong. No, that's not it. How does it go? To live long, play ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> she is a testament to that. A big thanks to Dot. And if you would like to get your kids into table tennis or ping pong, all you have to do is check out sportstar.com.au and get them into athletes and have a long, healthy life just like Dot. Thank you, Dot. Mwah. Big kisses. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> She's the dot yeah. dot com, isn't she? She's yeah. playing hard to get, Stevie. Look, she's saying, get on with it, Stevie. Get on with it. Stop <laughs> talking, young fella. The backhand is a killer. Great, great Jeez. stuff. Great advertisement for staying young. The ping, ping pong, pong, isn't it? The world has missed her ping pong. I think so. You know, it's been dull without her. Glad it's back.